Hi, my name is JJ Kavalars. I'm with the Canadian uh, Astronomy Data Center. Uh, I'm the head of the Canadian Astronomy Data Center, and I'm also representing the International Virtual Observatory Alliance, the IVOA, at IVOA.net. Uh, the IVOA is a member of the WDS, and uh, we are, uh, our organization is meant to facilitate the international coordination and collaboration that is necessary to allow astronomers to uh, find uh, archival data sets in a completely interoperable way so that they're findable, uh, accessible, interoperable, and reusable, um, basically following the FAIR principles. IDOA was founded in uh, 2002 and um, has been developing standards uh, ever since, basically, to allow those interactions to occur seamlessly. Uh, our architecture is based on this kind of diagram here. We have different layers uh, that are all based around uh, the uh, sort of these core uh, components of the VO core, as we call it. We have data models, uh, data formats, semantics for understanding data, and query languages for finding things. Um, the, those core layers and the whole the layout here is really maps nicely onto the finding, accessing, interoperating, and uh, reusing concepts of FAIR. Um, in order to implement all of these different components, we need to um, have different standards for interaction. And so that's really what the IVOA is about, is developing those standards for interactions between the different components of a completely, uh, sort of a complete um, ecosystem of data sharing. Uh, we have a lot of standards that have been developed. All the ones that are uh, blue boxes around it, those are standards that exist today. Uh, we have things like the uh, single sign-on standard that we've developed, a registry for do where services are. We have uh, um, standards for understanding things like uh, how the data should be shared, uh, what the data formats are. Uh, the boxes that don't have blue outlines on them are our current priorities for developing uh, standards in the future. So the, the things like the data set, uh, data model, which is down here, this, this area here, working on data models right now is one of the core areas for our group. Uh, the priorities for the next five years will be to bring in uh, astronomers from the radio community. We've been kind of missing them quite a bit uh, in the last 10 years, and so we'd like to diversify a bit. We also will be developing a new priority roadmap starting actually this year. Uh, and we're trying to migrate the way we do our, our standards to a more dynamic approach, uh, perhaps using something like GitHub as a data exchange mechanism for the standards development process. And then finally, the big thing is we're pushing ourselves into developing um, user software. That is scientific software that utilizes all these standards in order to interrogate these archives and extract the data out and give them to the community so they can actually uh, do science with them. And that's really where our sort of problem is right now in the IVOA is that there's a huge shortage of research software development going on and we're trying to figure out how can we, uh, you know, sort of uh, uh, get that ecosystem of research software development to grow better, uh, to, to get the resources it needs, and make sure that it's using all of these beautiful standards and protocols that we've developed over the years. Uh, so that's what the IVOA is currently working towards. Uh, thank you very much.